we're going to talk about Korean hand therapy. It's called Koryu. And uh, this is going to be part one of uh, uh, probably two or maybe even three uh, parts to this. The first part is called course, this corresponding method. It's similar to reflexology, but uh, much more effective and much more convenient. And uh, and um, well, it's what it's what most of us use at least 80, 80 to eighty five percent of the time. So you you you're going to get tremendous uh, uh, therapeutic effects just using this corresponding method. But for more advanced work, uh, we're going to be studying the micro meridians that are all located in the hand. So all the acupuncture points found in the body are also on the hand. And uh, that's going to be part two. And I'm going to show you some basic uh, uh, acupuncture combinations. Like, for instance, uh, you can, you can uh, find stomach 36 on the hand. And you can find kidney three and colon four and 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 treat those points just as if you were treating on the body and uh, it, it's comp comparably effective. So uh, this this webinar is based on the uh, a a book called Korean Hand Therapy Therapy Course Book One, work, a workbook by Dr. Lee Funk, who's a chiropractor. And uh, he's given me special permission to use his slides for this uh, webinar, which uh, I'm very grateful for. And uh, there's another book which I, I, I especially like called Take Pain Control Into Your Own Hands by Ilana Newman. She's a medical doctor. Uh, a lot of medical doctors have adopted, well, I, I won't say a lot. Uh, Korean hand therapy hasn't actually been widely adopted yet by acupuncturists, let alone medical doctors. But a few Medical doctors have found that it's so effective in relieving acute pain anywhere in the body that they've adopted it. And this one woman uh, named Alana Newman wrote a book on that called Take, Take Pain Control Into Your Own Hands. And it's uh, these books are available on uh, from Amazon. The uh, the source book and the and the creator of uh, Choreo Hand Therapy is a Dr. Tai Wu Yu. He has a lecture on Koryu Soji Chim, uh, which is the only book that has been translated from Korean into English by him. Uh, it's rather dense and and uh, a little crude in terms of its translation, so it's it's not user friendly. These other two books are much much easier to get into Korean hand therapy. So that's the Korean hand therapy course one workbook. From which the slides in this presentation are mostly derived. So Koryo actually means Korean, and uh, the Kore Koreans, and the Vietnamese for that matter, and, and uh, Japanese also, and most most Asian countries have adopted traditional Chinese medicine as part of their their system of healing, and uh, basically it's it's their alternative medicine. But uh, Korea was particularly was, was looking for something that was uniquely their own contribution to this. And uh, I'm not going to say that Dr. Tai Wu found it based on that purpose alone, but, but it, it, it serves that purpose very nicely. So it dates back to 1971, and uh, he's hailed as a, as a virtual genius in terms of uh, having, having found this, this correspondence. Um, Believe me when I say there's nothing quite like it in Chinese medicine. Auricular therapy is similar, and, they, and it works great with this, but I find hand therapy to be much faster and much more uh, convenient. So, as I mentioned, there's uh, basic, basically uh, two, two levels of treatment based on correspondences and based on uh, Chinese acupuncture. So... Um, Skip this that one, and we're gonna come. We're gonna skip it on. I'm go, I'm going. I'm going to skip through this a little bit until we get into it. But I wanted to give you some some idea of the scope of diseases that Korean hand therapy can treat, which is one reason I'm so excited about it. Uh, 
a lot of times herbalists are concerned about the fact that, uh, that if, if you give somebody an herbal formula and they're coming to you for acute pain and you're not able to relieve their pain and you're going to tell them that the herbal formula may work in a few days or even a week or so and, and to help ease their pain, for instance, uh, using uh, du Duho Angelica and, and uh, Loranthus for back pain and joint pains and arthritis is a fantastically effective a formula. Duho Jishin one. Uh, that formula is at least at least it take, you have to go through a bottle of it to to notice a, a, a benefit. But in the meantime, uh, you can lo locate the pain on the body and have the patient tested and and uh, find uh, on a scale of one to ten how severe the pain is. And uh, so they're going to they're going to tell you maybe it's a, a it's a nine. And if, and then you probe the corresponding point on their hand with a, with a probe. The probe could be anything from a, a, a dull ballpoint pen to a special probe that you might buy for this purpose, which I'll show you later on. <clears throat> and you find that, that point and you, and you press on it. I've actually used, um, when I've, I've gone into stores and different places and spontaneously used my fingernail on certain places and just kind of poked at it a little bit. It's not rubbing. Uh, you know, I, I know that reflexology you rub the feet and you rub things but here here you're actually probing and you're 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 trying to actually uh, have a more of a precise stimulation and then you have them test the pain and and if it's better you you've got the right point if it's not then you you uh probe the area around it until you actually find the precise right right point um so uh, these many of these diseases are going to re require more than one uh, session or treatment to 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 relieve, but you can see the scope. Of, there's there's uh, digestive diseases, nausea, and uh, cardiac asthma, hypertension, uh, respiratory diseases from common cold to tuberculosis to, to pleurisy and pneumonia genital urinary problems, metabolic problems, surgical diseases, skin diseases, um, gyne gynecological children's diseases. This is a wonderful uh, thing to use for children. Uh, diseases of the locomotive system, like arthritis, rheumatic arthritis, diseases of the circulatory system, and uh, so, it, it, you know, virtually uh, all, all diseases can be treated with some benefit with KHT or Koryu hand therapy. It combines well with uh, nutrition, massage therapy, chiropractic, physical therapy, and acupuncture. And uh, some of the advantages are that, that it needs no needles. It's safe and it's legal to practice if you're not if you're, you have, happen to not be a licensed practitioner. And uh, you can teach patients to do it on themselves, so they can follow up and do it at home, and continue the therapy at home with it. Um, another method is to it's, it's another method to add to your tube belt of treatments. And there's no physical risk to the patient, and it's excellent for muscular skeleton pain. Other advantages are that the patient doesn't need to disrobe. As I said, I've sometimes been standing in line in the store and a, a woman told me she had oh, terrible back pain and I found a corresponding point on the uh, dorsal part of, of her hand uh, down, down alongside the, the uh, middle finger on, on the body of her hand and found a corresponding point and, and, and just... Uh, kind of use my fingernail and, and poked on both sides just as, I, as if I were treating bladder 23. And uh, that was using the second system, which is the, finding the corresponding acupuncture point and her pain was relieved. Uh, I could have just as easily found this, the same place, uh, which is approximately where her body pain was and, and treated it just strictly based on, cor on corresponding theory. So the overview of our uh, course is going to be learning the theory and practice of correspondence therapy, the relation of the hand and body, the relation of the body meridians and the micro meridians, how to search for points, how to treat points, 
locating the front moo and the back shoe points. These are these are important points in in acupuncture uh, sense. The back moo points, uh, shoe points are are uh, the, uh, the the spine and and the various uh, areas where, where the nerves connect to the spine of the body. And uh, so <clears throat> the uh, the moo points deal with the internal organs in the front of the body, from the stomach, the heart, the chest, and the reproductive organs. To understand and apply tools of KHT, using the, hand, the point prober, the hand massager, silver and gold pellets, north and south magnets, and uh, eventually understanding a bit about abdominal pulse diagnosis and the practice of skills learned. We're not going to get into a lot of Chinese theory, but here, here is the palmar surface of the hand and based on correspondence theory. And I want you to notice here how the center finger, first, first of all, this is the palm side, so this is going to be the front of your, the front of your body. And when we look at the, the dorsal surface of the hand, that's going to be the back. It's quite simple that way. And uh, also, the, um, the foot is going to be the outer fingers. It's going to be, it could be the thumb and the little finger. It's going to be the, the leg and the foot. And the arms are the second and ring finger. And the center finger uh, is... Uh, going to be the center of the body. So the bulk of the internal organs of the body are, are uh, located on the center finger. And uh, the, the, the top part of the, of, of the uh, center finger corresponds to the head. So you have literally the head at the top, uh, top of the finger. And you have a, a nose in the middle. You can you can take your own hand and hold it up and put little dots there where the, where your eyes would be and your head, your nose and your mouth and and, and correspondingly the chin and the mandibles and the ears. And uh, so as an example, I uh, saw my dental hygienist and she was ha suffering from a, a headache, a sinus headache at the top. It was on the top of her head. I don't know if you can see my pointer, but I'm I'm pointing here and. Uh, and, and I and I sent, I said, well, give me your hand, and I and I dug my my own uh, uh, fingernail into those areas, and just very maybe four or five seconds at the most, and and probed around and just dug into it a few areas, and I said, well, is your headache better? She said, yeah, it's gone. So this works brilliantly for migraine headaches also, and uh, maybe. Uh, as we understand more more Chinese medical theory, you can understand how migraine headaches might be involved with the liver. So you might want to treat the liver along with that. But uh, but you can get uh, great results just just treating the, the corresponding area based on this picture. So there's the the nose at the top there, and you can see at the first crease of the of the middle finger is the larynx. And then the throat is the is the middle joint of the middle finger, and the base of the throat, and the chest, which is going to include the heart, is uh, is the bottom segment of the middle finger, and then the diaphragm is that is where the middle finger connects to the hand. The stomach is a middle immediately below that, and the navel is approximately in the middle of the hand, and the perineum is at the bottom. Um, I oftentimes, if, if I'm treating, no matter what, what, what problem I'm treating, I'll, I'll try to support the treatment by adding, uh, extra, extra, uh, we, we, one of the ways we treat is that is to stick on pellets or little magnets over these points and they stay on for as long as they stay on. It could be a day or two days, in which case, uh, the hand maybe has secretes different oils and they're put into water and they and they start loosening and falling off. If they're magnets, you tell them to save the magnets. They can reapply them afterwards. If they're, but uh, I'll tell you where to get these magnets and pellets, and you can use them in that way. But uh, so so if somebody has a headache, and I, I might want to treat 
uh, the the middle area of the body, uh, along with it, the area, the, the digestive system, and uh, the the area below the navel, which is the dantian, and that that helps to give support and strength to the to the uh, whatever other treatment. So, if someone had a problem with with their knees or the legs, work, this works brilliantly with knee pain, by the way, and. Uh, my 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 son had a a very severe acute knee pain, and it required an operation to reattach the meniscus. So it wasn't going to reattach the meniscus, but but uh, rubbing the corresponding point on the little finger uh, using his fingernail, he was able to control the knee pain perfectly with that, and it it made it made a huge difference until he could get the operation that he needed. So this is a dorsal surface of the hand. So obviously you're going to be treating the back of the leg, the the palmer part part of the hand, and and uh, the elbow is going to be the, uh, the 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 third joint, the second joint in the finger, and uh, of, the, of the, both the ring and the and the uh, index finger. And the other leg is going to be on the thumb. And and then you have the, the vertebrae that correspond directly to the uh, to, to the to the metatarsal bone that that comes down from the third finger. So you can see where L two and L three is, and and uh, co correspondingly probe areas above that to get to. Uh, L4 and 5 and so forth and and, and uh, or L1 rather it's, it's actually below <laughs> so the point the point is is that that all, all the vertebrae have have respective area points along the middle joint of that finger and uh, so uh, what would C1 be in 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 uh, Tai Wu Yu's book, C1 would be would be the first cervical, and that's the back of the neck. So that whole that whole first joint treats neck pain beautifully, and shoulder pain is going to be a, 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 around T7, and in the in the areas between the the ring finger and the and the index finger. The front of the body represents the palm of the hand, and the back of the body represents is, is represented on the back of the hand. Midline of the body is on the midline of the hand, and the top of the head is the tip of the middle finger. The base of the spine is at the base of the third metacar metacarpal. The right side body problem is on the right side of the midline of right of the right hand. So we're gonna we're gonna sort that out in a minute. The left side of the body is on the left side of midline of the left hand. So if you hold your right hand in front of you, the uh, ring finger is going to be your right leg, and the outside of the ring finger. Is going to be the outside of your right leg. Now that's with your hand facing you, because the normal position to identify that that particular finger, which treats the right the right leg, the normal the normal position would be with your hand palm down. But for treatment, we, we oftentimes have the hand turned over, so it's going to be you're going to treat the uh, the 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 outer outer edge of the ring finger for uh, the outer part of the right leg. Now, the index finger. I'm, I'm sorry, we're talking about the, the 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 little finger here. 
the little finger is your legs. So you're going to treat the outer part of the little finger for the, for the outer part of the right of your right leg. And uh, your thumb is going to be your left leg. But again, the, the, the part when your hand is turned over, it's going to be the outside of the thumb. Seems perfectly logical to me, but I but I, I know that sometimes this is an area of confusion, and we'll tr we'll try to go over it again. I don't oftentimes since, since I have the choice of treating the left leg with my with, with the with uh, with my um, left hand, the little finger of my left hand, I would choose to do that rather than treating the thumb of my right hand to get to get treat my right my, my left uh, left leg so I'm, I'm mainly I mainly uh, to begin with I'm, I'm going to be focusing on treating since the middle finger treats the both sides of the body everything down the middle finger both front and back treats both sides of the body but the right hand treats the right side of the body the left hand treats the left side of the body So there is uh, right and left. And so you can see that uh, if you're holding your hand in front of you, facing you, your left side is going to be on the right side of your hand. Determining right from left. This is something I'd like you to do on, on a flat surface in front of you. This is from uh, Dr. Ilana's book. Uh, and whenever, if I ever get confused, and, I, and if I haven't confused you yet, always do this. Imagine that you're that a person is walking on all, all fours, so that their legs are going to be the two outer fingers. And their arms are going to be the, the the ring finger and and the index finger, and the middle part of their body is going to be their their uh, middle finger. So if you if you position yourself that way, then uh, you'll you'll understand the correspondence. So, so this is uh, the homunculus of the body. So the dorsal side of the hand is the back of the body, while the palmar side is the front. The right side of the hand corresponds to the right side of the body, and the left side corresponds to the left side of the body. So take your right hand now and just make that little, that little motion, just like you see in the picture. So if you have any question, uh, Get into that position with your hand. So we, we went over this. The palm is the ventral side of the, and, and the abdominal region, and the dorsal is the back of the body and the waist. The index and ring fingers uh, are the upper limbs, and the thumb and little finger are the lower limbs, and the head and neck is the middle phalanx and the finger. Of, of the of the middle finger. So this is part one, which is corresponding area. It's like reflexology, and part two, which is acupuncture meridian area. So here, the person is uh, facing front, and uh, you now if you you're looking for the shoulder, find where the yellow dot is on the picture and find it on the on the hand. So that's where I would go if somebody said they had shoulder pain. Now sometimes it diffuses to the center of the body. 
so from the shoulder to the neck that whole that whole area in there so that means that you're that you're going to massage or 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 uh probe treat in various methods that i should that i mentioned for instance putting magnets or pellet pellets on it swamp pellets on on the area somewhere between that area uh I'll usually do a lot with with the probe because the probe can can get rid of much of the pain right off the bat with shoulder pain, and then I'll I'll put the the magnets and and the the pellets on for a longer longer lasting effect. But uh, generally speaking, hand therapy, if it's a simple problem, one treatment will 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 oftentimes cure it completely. But uh, if it's more complex, then 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 you may you may have to do as many as as ten different sessions of treating the person. So teaching them how to, how to take how, how to use the the pellets that you put on and put the, putting them on themselves, how to massage those, those particular areas of the body, because uh, in that way the pain can 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 be completely cleared up. Dr. Ilana has a picture of a Mexican village where she taught all the villagers how to control their own pain. It's such a simple thing to do, and they obviously don't. If, if they, if the, if a doctor is even available, they don't have the money to, to pay for it. So, so it's a boon to people to be able to to control their own pain. And in the meantime, you can be giving herbs and and dietary suggestions and and uh, various other treatments that help support that. But it's it's quite amazing to have that. So now now we're, now we're talking about leg pain in the front, and this is going to be the front of the leg. So notice where the knee is. Um, that actually is going to be the back of the knee. That I, I I personally think that that's that's an error. I, I would I would treat on the on the on the dorsal part of the of that particular area where the where the magenta probe is and uh and then the ankle and then and then the uh, the hip so that whole area at the base of the little finger treats the left left hip and uh, I've, I've i've treated uh, women at our free clinic who have uh, hip pain very effectively using this. So this is an example of uh, someone treating the knee, and again, uh, he's pointing to the front of the knee with that. And uh, normally, I would I would turn the hand over and treat on, directly on the knuckle, but you can you can you can actually treat on the opposite side of the hand as well. Um, a case in point being being at the, at the top of the hand where the, where there's a fingernail you can't treat on top of a fingernail so you can you can, you can treat the the back of the head on the on the palmer side of the hand so and if the pain is more towards the outside of the knee you can see corresponding where where the finger his finger is and, and treatment so probing in that area now what if you're what if you miss it well you know it, it doesn't take much to to probe uh, around that whole area until you until you get it usually usually the most tender spot is the is the diagnostics for for uh treating therapy uh you, you're going to find where that they that almost uh, as a matter of fact i've never seen a situation where the, where the uh, the spot the correspond on the hand wasn't wasn't more tender uh, that to the area that was painful in their body. So, and this is on the inside of the knee. And here we're talking about treating the inside of the arm. So that's correct. And uh, if I were treating the elbow, I would turn the hand over and treat on the top of the knuckle of that of that um, second uh, joint in the in the uh, of the ring finger. Here we're treating 
closer to the upper part of the back, and the the whole ba the whole dorsal top the top of the of the palm of the hand represents the spine. And uh, again, how do you find this? Uh, you're going to have to probe and find the most tender spot. If it's not exactly where you think it should be, but there's a tender spot somewhere near it, that's the one that's alive and that's the one you treat. Here is a uh, back of neck pain. And uh, so this is the... Um, left side of the body and we're treating the left more towards the left on the neck now one of the one of the methods of of finding these points is to use the probe to find the most tender point sometimes you can some some of the probes have have a rolling device on them so you can roll over it until you find uh, and the patient will tell you then where it's more, more painful than not I haven't always found that found that the rolling method to be uh, effective, but um, but it, it it does work in some cases. Um, always, the most effective point is the one that relieves the pain. <laughs> so that's and and it doesn't cost much to 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 poke around in in the area where where it's at. I mean, it, it it's it's not it's not like like you're you're sticking needles all, all, over, all over the area. You're just uh, massaging or probing in a larger area until you uh, happen to hit the right spot. Now, on the treating the center of the body, in theory, and in fact, you don't need to treat both hands. Because it's the center, you can treat the center of the body with either either hand, and, and uh, so this is just above the navel. And you can see here uh, the front of the hand and the front of the extremity. So um, the ankle and the knee and the hip; those are all areas. So you might need need to to probe and treat a wider area to 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 treat that area that 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 particular problem effectively. And the shoulder is at the base of the ring finger. It would also be uh, the at the base of the index finger. But I as I as I mentioned, my favorite. Most 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 of Korean Korean choreo th hand therapists, at least when starting out, favor the 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 uh, treating the outer three fingers because it, then then they're not you're, you're not getting so much interference with the with your thumb and index, which we tend to use more. And if you're using magnets on these points, then they then they tend to snap together, so that that creates another issue because we try to use the strongest magnets that are available, the ne neodymium magnets, or ten thousand Gauss. So this is uh, the back of the hand and the back of the extremities. So this is this is going to be the the uh, the top of the knee, the top of the ankle, and uh, the the front part of the hip. And so you have uh, so you you you. This is this is something that actually ha happens to me. Happens to me sometimes when I'm walking. I'm walking uphill, and, and all of a sudden, I'll, I'll notice my my knee is bothering me a little bit, and I don't have I don't normally have knee knee pain, and I'll just take take my fingernail in, in that area where, where it's of the little finger, if it's a right if it's a right knee, and I dig and I dig into it around that area until the pain is gone, and it, it, usually you don't have to do it more than four or five seconds. Same thing with elbow pain; it goes away almost immediately. And wrist pain, carpal tunnel, and things like that, shoulder and hip, extremely effective. So, as I as I mentioned earlier, the shoulder oftentimes encompasses a larger area. So, so uh, 
treating the areas between the fingers means you're treating the area between your arm and your shoulder and your neck. And dorsal knee pain, again, all those areas very effectively treated. Ventral knee pain. Shin pains, you know, here, here, here the shin is on the outer, outer part of uh, the leg and, uh, and assuming that this is going to be the, uh, left knee or the left leg uh, you're going to be treating the outer part corresponding to where the pain is on your legs the shin, the shin part of your leg back pain areas uh, here you're going to be treating maybe not directly on the bone itself on, on the metatarsal itself but just like you would if you were treating acupuncture, you're treating on either side of the of the spine. So you're you're finding areas on either side of the metatarsal to place a pellet or a magnet. And uh, so the in in reflexology, people are are told to to massage it frequently and so forth. With with um, Choreo hand therapy. All you have to do is put put the put the magnet down, the magnet or the pellet down and press on it a little bit just to make, be sure it's firm, and um, and then have them check and see if if it's better. Usually, usually uh, the pain gets better within within a, uh, a few minutes. Sometimes I've seen it take take as much as a half hour to to resolve a more severe pain, and uh, so. Be a little patient with it, but here you're also seeing how uh, acupuncture points are, co are are corresponding on the fingers. So treatment methods are mechanical stimulation, rolling probe to massage it, gold and silver pellets, south and north pole magnets. So that's just using the probe, mechanical stimulation. That's the rolling method. Now these are the the uh, the, prelet, the pellets. There are gold, and gold is is when you're trying to tonify, bring energy to a place. Mostly we use silver, which disperses. And uh, you can buy these hand therapy pellets on. From Amazon, and you can, and, and uh, as I mentioned, I think if you're going to invest in it, uh, try to get get many more silver than you would gold. Um, if there's an issue where you're trying to rebuild an area and regenerate tissue, then you want to use gold. It's, of course, gold plated and silver plated. <clears throat> but I, I I purchased them uh, much more actually from from, from Amazon. They have a place where you can purchase them seemingly cheaper with with those large uh, uh, adhesives that stick them stick better, and they, they they take a while to get to me, and they come from Korea. That's what the pellets look like. They may not stay on real well, and uh, and ideally you might want to leave them on for two or three days. So. You can get some clear uh, 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 band-aid tape and put it over the top of the of the tape that that has the, has the pellets on them to to lead them on longer. And uh, so that so that 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 pellet probably that particular style of tape, as I mentioned, doesn't stay on very long. Maybe maybe about a day. And they fall off. Person can save them and reapply them, or or, <clears throat> or um, leave them off for a day and put and then reapply them. These are uh, neodymium magnets, and they're available from a place called Gossboy, G A S S G 
G-A-U-S-S um, B-O-Y and um, Anyway, I just had to chase my cat away. He's annoying, annoying us here. <clears throat> um, and specifically ask for uh, the, the magnets that uh, Dr. Funk uses, F-U-N-K. -N uh, then they're, then they're color-coded so that the, the gold part of the magnet is going to be uh, the south side and the and the uh, color and the uncolored part is the is the uh, north. So we, <clears throat> so here um, using using gold and silver using north and south. We're trying to move the energy up from the digestive system to the uh, what's that? What, what, what would that part of the the body be? The 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 neck area, and uh, just above the chest. So we're 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 moving we're we're, we're moving the energy. Oh no! No, we're 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 dispersing the energy from the from the neck area where there's pain, and then it, we're tonifying the digestive system along with it. So this is a review of the positions, and you should be able to, to download this uh, file. And um, let's see. Do you have any questions? Melanie has her hand up, so I'm going to unmute you. Hi, Melanie. Are you there? Melanie Pensa? Okay, you're not answering. Michelle Ch Cello? Hi. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. I think you. I think you're up. Your your microphone is turned on. Tracy T Taylor. Hello. Hello? Hi, Tracy. Hi, Michael. How are you? Pretty good. Well, this has been really informative. I was wondering if you could use the pointer plus to find spots. Yes, you can. And all those all those similar devices that measure skin resistance are supposedly effective for that. I I don't think that uh, that 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 they're in my experience that it's been that that process has been. Very, as, nearly as effective as probing. Okay. And uh, in other words, locate the general area and just probe around with it, and uh, that should do. That should do just fine. And when, you, when you're probing, you're also treating. But you can use the pointer plus. And and, and uh, Dr. Dan Labash, who's probably the major teacher of coil hand therapy in the country. Uh, he he recommends using using um, those electronic devices, but 
I like the idea of having having the least technology technology possible to to, to, to do the job, and uh, this is lends itself perfectly to that. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Sure. Um, Valerie. Hello, Valerie. Oh, by the way, I do have to finish. You just faded back on me. At first, I was hearing you. Are you speaking? We can't hear you too well, Valerie. I'm sorry. I'd love to be able to. You can type out type out a question below, and I'll I'll answer it that way, or a comment. Olina. Hello, Olina. Hello, Olina. Maybe you've gone away. Holly Hutton. Hello, Holly. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Michael. I don't have a question, though. OK. So maybe some people have their hands up accidentally or something like that. It could be. You're doing great though. It's really fascinating. Yeah, I think I think it's it's so so easy to teach. It's hard to string it out any longer than we have, <laughs> <laughs> which is cool. And uh, but it's it's so so easy to to do it and so easy to teach it. Uh, exactly, and it's unregulated, so it's great for everyone to use. It's going to be amazing when you if, if, when you actually see people coming in with a with a, with a knee pain. I mean, or or elbow pain or wrist pain, and and you can just probe on the on the associated area and ask them how it is. Always always have them test it beforehand. In other words, uh, check and see on a scale of one to ten how bad how bad would they assess the pain to be. Uh -huh. Because sometimes all you're going to get is maybe a, a three or four point difference. It may not be completely gone, go go away immediately. That may take a little bit longer. But but to but that's the that's the way that I'm I'm I have most assurance that I've gotten the right point is that the pain is is relieved and it's, it's really pretty darn reliable. It's pretty pretty uncanny. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Holly. Uh huh. Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Okay, well, I'm, one of the things to do is to is to practice. And uh, the Ilana's book is very good for that. Take take pain control into your own hands, because uh, she goes through showing all these all these areas, and then she has a whole bunch of places where you, uh, pages where you practice what you've learned, and so she shows you the uh, course. She she points to a part of the hand, and then you're supposed to name the corresponding part of the body, and then and then on the following page she tells you what that is. And uh, and pretty soon you can you can pretty much get it down where you can point to anywhere on the on the body and uh, and find that co the corresponding part of the hand or point anywhere in the hand and, and imagine where that would be on the body and uh, so the idea is to, to really really practice that aspect of it. Um, I hope you got the right and left hand part straight. Um, 
again using that homunculus model where you where you uh, imagine your hand as being walking on on uh, on your hands and feet uh you you'll you should be able to uh, to re recalibrate yourself to understanding that so it's been a short webinar but uh but good and um the next one that we would do would be locating the merid the acupuncture meridians on the hand and the micro meridians that, that where all the, the major points are. So uh, I've taught stomach 36, for instance, and uh, stomach 36 would be on, well, if, if you're looking on, on your uh, right leg, it would be just below the knee. So not all of you are going to know what stomach 36 is, but it's right, right, right uh, distal to the first, uh, the first knuckle of the hand of the finger. And uh, so I, I, I had a woman with chronic fatigue, and I and I put a a, a gold magnet there because I wanted to tonify. And uh, she was pretty amazed that the next day she she didn't have any fatigue at all. It, it it worked it worked beautifully and uh and 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 so uh using using the finding finding points like colon four and and kidney three for the kidneys and and uh gall uh, gallbladder uh 20 for for the, for the head and for dizziness and and things like that uh you can find all those points on the hand and and put Mostly, mostly uh, we're we're going to use silver needles because we want to disperse energy that's stuck. And that most most of the time, there's discomfort. There's always some stuck energy. And uh, <clears throat> one Korean uh, uh, doctor, hand therapist, and I'm told, lives in San Jose, and all he uses is silver. So, get yourself a probe and get some get some uh, get some get some some um, magnets and experiment with them. They're, they're smaller than the magnets that I normally use on the for other other things and, and much cheaper by the way they cost like uh, uh, six cents a piece or something like that from from goss boys and uh and and get working on and, and let us and share your your uh, experiences with each other on on, on our forum and within in our seminar all right good night everyone <laughs>